Yeah, 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 I did. Like right in time. But we were so I was so in that world that I was like, okay, so something's coming, but I have to finish work and no one no like they haven't stopped us from working. So as soon as we finished, like that last week we were shooting, it, I was becoming more and more like, this is getting weird, guys. And we were shooting up in the middle of nowhere. We were shooting out in a place where there wasn't any cell service at all. Uh -huh. Like the ADs right. had to drive 40 minutes just to go and get service if like someone didn't show up or they could like got lost. So for three or four days, we had no idea that this was happening, like right when it really hit. So we were totally lost. And then when I came out of it, I was like, we need to quarantine. And we knew, like, I went, like, right into that very quickly. Yeah. yeah. So, what a and, which was good because I was like, you need to, like, fucking get here now. And he was like, well, yeah. we'll see. And I was like, no, we won't. We will see your ass in the car, like, crossing the border because they're going to yeah. shut down the border. And, like, so it yeah. became a lot of that. And that really overwhelmed me. And so I <laughs> like Lenny right now. Obviously. <laughs> really underwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. I'm like, I was ready to go. I was taking Let me seriously. say, you just got a real dressing down right there. You got a fireside <laughs> dressing down. You had just booked. You had just booked a new show. Congrats. Yes. Congrats. Oh, Shooting thank the you. pilot. Mm -hmm. Didn't get to shoot the pilot yet. Oh, but didn't get I, to yet. No, no. So, you know, I just, I'm hopeful that we get to still. And right. So just trying really hard not to like. I don't know. It's like I'm. I, I'm very, very lucky. I can. I can get another job at some other point if I have to. I'd love this show still to go. I'm sure it will. It's planning on yeah. it. But you know, like I just don't. I think it's. It would be pretty indulgent for me to get um, too upset about it. I'm. I can afford to live right now. That's what a lucky thing. I keep thinking of everybody who's got kids at home and still have to go to work. Right. And, we. Uh, um, a, yeah. a friend of ours. We had him two nights ago. Um, she has two kids three and eight months and it's just chaos in New York. we're like because we've asked people are like are you binge watching what because basically yeah. we're doing the show to take your mind off of that have our yeah. friends on chit chat yeah talk about like how people are keeping their minds yeah. mental health physical health yeah. following a routine well my first question for you is what how are your cooking skills both of you uh, not oh. great but okay. her parents are upstairs and they're cooking like fiends. They're incredible. Oh, so you're so, at your folks' place, Jess? That was part of the, that's where I was kind of going with that. I like went into like, and then everything went to shit. Lent, but I have kind of backed away from some of the new, like keeping informed, obviously, but just <laughs> trying to refocus on how is day to day, how do we get through day to day life? How do you come up with a routine and stuff and focusing on that as to not completely overwhelm and it's, been working but we're really lucky part of the reason why we made him come here was my parents have this like double level house where you can only get to like the downstairs two bedrooms by going outside so it's a whole other home downstairs wow. which is wow. my mom's office and like guest room and stuff so we were like we're just down here and they're there so we do you know lunch and dinner with them every day and like we'll, do, movie. we'll, like, we'll do a movie That's every night kind of a scenario ever. What yeah, is, yeah, it worked out. So we're just like binging on shows and finding yeah. little movies and stuff like yeah. that. We've been asking everyone what their favorite movies are. Are you guys cooks? You're a cook, aren't you? Um, I can cook. I'm like I'm like a good sort of bog standard cook. I'd say like mm -hmm. I've got a few classic meals and um I can make a chicken parmesan and you know like oh, some right. just simple things. But okay. George is a really really good cook and oh. so he. Like, you really learn you should be with someone who can you're yeah. really learning who the right person to be with is time for yeah the a cook, they're calm maybe they play the piano totally. uh they're totally. quiet they can have their alone time and still come yeah, yeah you, you're finding the right person if you're with them yeah right i feel like it's it's it also both of us seem to have and i would never have known this really till this experience is a silver lining in it is like i have quite a good level of introversion in there too somewhere i love socializing and i love but i don't I'm okay if I have an activity. As long as I have something, I can go days without talking to people and that's not really, um, you know, like I'm not somebody who ever gets bored. Like I'll garden or I'll do something. And that gardening, if you can, oh my God, it's so so primitive, this whole thing of like just doing something physical that you get to see a reward at the end of the day. And oh, that's nice. And, I've been following um, your gardening. Oh, yeah, thanks, guys. Even yes, watching I, you I'm a, garden is nice for me. I'm like, I've got to tell you, I'm a very interesting combination of very passionate and also very bad. And, oh, great. Uh, 
Which yeah, is the not, best combination. It's a good combination. You're passionately yeah. bad at things. Yeah, exactly. Like I just, I love, I do love cooking, and I'm okay. You're I'm not the person who's like just walks into the kitchen and whips something up. I like give it everything, and it'll be kind of average, middling to good. Average. But then, like right. the garden is. I mean, it's, we have a really big property. We're so lucky. Like, just in terms of there's a little patch out the front, patch out the back, patch at the side. So, like, go into one and just pretend the others don't exist because they're floundering and really struggling. And then right. um, just give it everything for a little while and then get distracted by something else. And that one goes back to the dogs. It gives me a lot of activities, though, because, like, you know. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a lot to keep up on. It's really You'll have good. A lot and, to do for a while. And it just is. Um, something very like right in front of you that you can change. I think that's important. Find, you know, a good kind right. of compulsive outlet. Right. And then Healthy you people. also, you crochet, is that what I call it? A, a cross stitch. Cross stitch. To be honest, it I'm right. kind of this. It's a cross I know what it looks like, but I never yeah. know the name. Because you yeah. used to do it no, on cross stitch. Have cross you been cross stitch? I do cross stitch. I knit my cross stitch. So um, yeah, that's that's a really good activity. I read. I've been doing my French lessons, um, Duolingo, and I'm, that's when I've been. Using. Oh, so we need to start that oh, tomorrow. So you're gonna come out of this we need like, to do a language every day. I saw there's a friend of mine, and they were online, and every morning they're doing Spanish Duolingo. Here's the cook. <laughs> here, right? Come on, on, come on the cook, the chefs here. Jess and Lenny? I think you've met Jess before, but you haven't met Lenny. I met, yeah, George and I met years ago. Hi, George. Hey, bud. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Ding, 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 ding. saying nice things about your cooking. Apparently, you're the cook. Oh, no, no. She's the cook. No. <laughs> I said I'm passionate and average. <laughs> A average. Average yeah. and passionate. I'm super passionate, but average. Neither can cook. And you guys are doing good. Neither of us. Yeah. It's good. No, it's she's nice. Great. She's, a good, she's a good baker as well. Oh, the banana bread. I just had a slice. Highly recommended. Lovely. Uh, Village. Nice. And how are you guys in, in the house together? together? I cook. This is huh? Like, how are you guys dealing with like being in the house together? Because I have some friends that are alone and they're like, it's good, but also can be lonely. And then like, I'm glad he's here, but sometimes I'm like, oh my God. I can't. We've been good at separating though. You do your wine o'clock, five o'clock, she drinks wine and FaceTimes with her friends. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we quite the same. Like, we. He goes upstairs, um, locks himself up there. What Great. else? We watch yeah, a movie together at night or something. Yeah, we ha we hang. We kind of try and keep it the same as it was, yeah. but we we hang at night. Yeah, mm -hmm. we yeah. I'm setting the alarm the same way from seven forty-five. Trying to wow. keep the routine. I, I read that's important. I'm and, sleeping until at least nine thirty. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, the seven thirty went. Right, I got in a good schedule the last couple months, and it is gone. It's gone. <laughs> like I know, like the last couple days, it's been ten thirty, eleven. Oh because yeah. We've also been because we're binge watching Tiger King. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're binge watching Tiger King on Netflix. Now this yeah. guy's the biggest tiger lover you've ever met in your whole entire. Oh, don't watch. <laughs> I know. Don't watch. He, should watch it. He went to India when he was. 18? 17? 18. That's the age. Um, to find a tiger. That was his mission. He said, you didn't see one? Or you did see one from far away. I saw one from uh, zoo. <laughs> two miles away. But He saw a lot of people, though. That's you could watch it. It's, it's about big cat, exotic cat owners. It's Not the best way. Phenomenal. But yeah. then it also verges into murder possible murder. murder Every character is new and outrageously amazing. It's, it's, if you guys, are you guys binge watching at night? Are you kind of running through? We are on cheer at the moment. We hadn't done cheer. We just did that. We just finished that. It oh. is the best. Jerry. 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 Just like the more. We're yeah. loving it. All Jerry. Oh my God. Jerry. How, how many episodes? Okay. okay bye. bye. Nice to meet you, George. How many um, episodes? We are probably three and I had listened uh, Tiger King podcast. Had you guys listened to that? Oh, no. no just I the... read something the other day. The guy that did the podcast was like, I'm here if anyone wants to talk about it or ask oh. me questions on Twitter. Oh, it's fantastic. I wonder if it was connected or whether it was like the same guy who made the documentary. I don't think they were connected, um, but he, but it's like all the same players and everything. Like he was like, it's all the same people. It's all the same like oh. story. Um, it's insane, but then you get the visuals of, in the film, like, 
for years of this. Like they had, because one of the guy who it's about had just years and years of footage of himself. He loved he him. Filmed he every, wanted to be a like star before. The Beyonce of like Tiger Owners. And so the Beyonce of footage of fucking everything he ever Ty- did. So it's like set. perfect. It's like wonderful documentary. Is it wonderful? Oh, wow. I think that's it is. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's we love documentary too. We do a lot of rewatching of Anthony Bourdain. That's our kind of comfort. Oh, oh nice. That's nice. Bon, bon, Anthony Bourdain. A lot of, um, uh, what's it called? Jerry? What's the, um, the gra- oh, Grand Designs. Oh, all right. Grand Do you guys watch that one? No. Is it no, Netflix? No, I don't even know what it is. Right. Great. Uh, I think it's Netflix as well. Grand Designs, it's like um, watching people kind of come up with these ideas, these Jeez. really elaborate, bizarre ideas that they want to do to their house. And oh, all right. Like, oh, I like Great that. host, though. Really good host. Oh. Um, so you're, like, learning things. You're learning. No, your- not really. No, no, no. I'm really, I'm making this sound, it's not... Like, I have a disciplined routine. A lot of the time, I'm, like, cleaning and doing really mundane things. All I'd say is I feel like I'm one of the people who's quite well suited to being a homebody. And you are. these little activities and, like, crafts and stuff suit me. So um, I'm, I, I love a jigsaw, you know? I can't lie. I love a jigsaw. Yeah. And so I'll put something like Anthony Bourdain on while doing a jigsaw. And that's just kind of the place I'd rather be. Than anyway, when, anyway. when this started, and then we decided to do this little show, and I mm-hmm. thought of you, I was like, "Wow, Rose must be doing really well at this, like, because you're just suited for this. Mm-hmm. Not, not that you're suited for like, you know, crisis. But I'm not the like out, yeah, like hosting big dinners at events, and oh no, that's I, I enjoy those. I definitely I crave yeah. some socializing for sure. It's like really nice to talk to two friends here, but. Yeah. But it's, there are some people I know, like my mum is losing her mind. She likes to do five drives a day. She'll be watching this, I bet. Hello, mum. Hi, mum. Hi, mum. What's mom Rose's mum's name? Annie. So Annie and Matt Annie. are back in French Bay in New Zealand right now with the chickens and the dogs. And it's, oh. you know, it's a really good place for them to be. But my mum likes to make about six outings a day just for really little things. Like she'll just drive up to get um, anyway. uh yeast to make bread or something but she'll stagger the activities over a day because she quite likes the incidental you know um, interactions and stuff so she i've noticed is getting a little stir crazy um i called her and she laughed hysterically the other day at i don't remember what it was but it was not that funny (laughs) and she was like just falling apart so um losing it yeah my dad and i are better suited to it um you up for a run he's doing his socially isolated run nice great Yep. Um, love that. Love that. It was That's great meeting you, George. Be safe. Thanks See you guys. Stay safe. Your area. God's yep. key. That's right. Run yeah. like this. God's key. Yeah, he, he really yeah. keeps the thumbs up in case anybody he comes near people. You're quite like, so, people. like people who don't respect social um, space anyway. Tough time for close talkers. A tough time for close talkers. <laughs> oh, it God. Is a very tough time. Those are the people that need us the most right now. They need us a lot. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Post talk on um, Insta Live, though, I guess, safely. Yeah, we'll bring yeah, you right in. We can, we can <laughs> so we have a big yeah, room full of people. Yeah. I know they're going to talk. You guys obviously we work. You guys yeah. work together on iZombie. We did. Um, I, do you, by the way, can I just, ex- have I expressed to you how much I'm in love with your wife? Uh, no. Go right ahead. Go, you can do it. <laughs> I'm Don't think it too long, though, because she has a big head already. Big fan of Miss Harmon. Big fan. Um, I have always really been a big Bozio shipper, um, which was her and Pi on the show, obviously. They were like my yeah. favorite, one of my favorite storylines in the whole series ever. Um, I loved it. Love, just love her attitude. She's so smart. She's so funny. We were so lucky to have her on. We're fighting. We're always working around Jess Harmon's bloody schedule because she's the most sought after actress. Oh, I have so many jobs. She's very busy over yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Lovely. I will say, so <laughs> I'll send the compliment Fashion. back. Yes. Yeah, I am a huge fan of yours uh, for your work, although I was joking earlier, but she talked about how the, the iZombie set worked and how, it, how the people on the set were. And yeah. I've always been a big believer that when you're the number one in the show or at the, you know, one of the top cast, the re- regular, the way you act is the way it, it trickles down through everyone. If, you, if the number one in the call sheet is always on time and works their ass off and, and treats everybody well, then, 
the whole show experience will be amazing. And mm -hmm. she could not speak more glowingly about how you 